my channel Ms. Madison. In this video, we will discuss about bone and joint infection. In another words, osteomyelitis. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. So, osteo means bone and myelitis means inflammation of bone marrow. Osteomyelitis are two types, acute and chronic. We will discuss both in this video. Acute osteomyelitis mainly happens after skin infections, boils and it gets hematogenous excess. And the second cause after trauma by the direct contamination of bone and most common root is hematogenous root by blood. And it progresses rapidly and abrupt in onset. And the most common cause of acute estomalitis is staph aureus. Staphylococcus aureus. Everywhere in orthopedics, most common cause of any disease is staph aureus. If you don't know the cause, please choose option staph aureus. Acute condition is from 15 days to 3 months and subacute condition 3 months to 6 months and if it's chronic then it should be more than 6 months. So, in chronic osteomyelitis, predisposing condition is diabetes mellitus. Clinical features of chronic osteomyelitis are bone pain and tenderness, fever, if there is inflammation, so fever is possible, night sweats, Fatigue, vertebral osteomyelitis, and the chances of vertebral osteomyelitis lumbar sixty percent, then cranial or thoracic. And for vertebral osteomyelitis, back pain will be present. And there will be necrosis of bone also present, which cause formation of sequestrum. What is sequestrum? Sequestrum is an avascular piece of infected bone. You can see in the x-ray. We will make a table of pathogens, predisposing factors and common organisms. So first one is neonates. In neonates, in neonates common organism is Streptococcus agalacte, group B, Streptococcus. Next predisposing factor children and adult and its causing organism is staph aureus common organism next adult with vertebral osteomyelitis the same causing organism staph aureus and it can be mycobacterium tuberculosis next Predisposing factor IV drug users and the organisms are can be Staph aureus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Serratia, Marcellans candida. And the next predisposing factor. Puncture wound of foot can be seen in diabetes mellitus, causative organisms, pseudomonas aeruginosa. 
this is important question can be asked in exam next cat bite and the causative organism is pasturella multocita next predisposing condition is sickle cell anemia this also important question salmonella species are the causative organisms of osteomyelitis in the patient of sickle cell anemia and the last one exposure in endemic areas causative organisms are histoplasma and cocoideus imitis next and the last is the treatment we can give antibiotics vancomycin which are mrsa methicillin resistant staph aureus and we can also prescribe nafcillin and other than cephalosporins we can give parenterally and in the case of vancomycin resistant staph aureus or sensitive we can give daptomycin and linzolate this topic will cover in clinical microbiology and orthopedics and for the surgical debridement must be done in the cases of chronic osteomyelitis thank you Thank you.